So once we've defined our API using resources and methods, uh, the next thing is to actually uh, get our API published. And in order to do that, you're going to need a bunch of different stages set up. And so stages is just uh, the is just like a way of versioning your a uh, your API for published versions. And you're normally going to do this based on uh, your environment. So you would have like production, uh, QA for quality insurance, staging. Maybe you'd have one for developers. Um, so yeah, so you'll create those stages. Now, once you create a stage, you're going to get a, a unique URL that's uh, automatically generated from AWS. So here I have one, and this is, they call it the invoke URL, and this is the endpoint you're actually gonna hit. So you do this, like forward slash prod, and then whatever your endpoints are. So we saw in the previous example, we had forward slash tasks and forward slash projects. You just append them there and make the appropriate method, whatever it is, get or post. And that's how you're gonna interact with API Gateway. Now you might look at this and say, I don't really like the look of this uh, URL. I wish I could use a custom one. You can definitely do that in API Gateway. So you could make this like api.exampro.co instead of this uh, big ugly URL. But again, um, for each staging, they're gonna have one. So here it's prod. So there would be one here for QA and staging, all right? Uh, and so uh, in order to deploy um, these versions to the staging, you'd, you'd go to your actual uh, API and you'd have to do deploy API action. Every time you make a change, you have to do the deploy API action. It doesn't automatically happen. That's something that um, uh, confused me for some time because you think you made this endpoint. Why aren't they working? It's generally because you have to do deploy API. 